Hey there, fellow streamers. Welcome to the channel dedicated to helping you supercharge your Fire Stick. In today's video guide, we're not only going to be installing one of the best video streaming apps out there, and also one of my personal favorites, Kodi, but we are also going to supercharge it by installing a build which is going to give you all the content you could ever need right here in one app. TV, sports, movies, you name it, it's all available in this build. So grab your remote and follow along with this guide, and remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. First, we're going to head to the home screen of your device and make our way across to the search icon. In the search bar, start typing the word Downloader, and after a couple of letters, it should appear at the top of the list, so go ahead and click on it. Click on the icon, you can't miss it, it's the big orange one with Downloader written on it. While that's downloading, if I could ask that you hit that like and subscribe button, it only takes two seconds, but helps out the channel massively. Before we open up Downloader, we need to enable some hidden settings to make it work. So hit the Home button, make your way across to Settings, and then down to the My Fire TV icon. By default, the developer options are hidden. Just enter the About section and tap on the device name seven times. Hit the Back button and you should now see they have been enabled. Once inside, go ahead and click Install Unknown Apps. You can now go ahead and switch the toggle to On for Downloader. Now that's all done. Head over to your newly installed Downloader app. Open it up, then make your way to the search bar, just like in the video. Once you've clicked the search bar, type in this web address exactly as you see on the screen. Once you're finished typing, click OK and wait for the site to load. Head over to the menu in the top right corner, then scroll down and click Download. Scroll down again and find the Android logo. This is the one we need as our Fire Sticks run on a modified version of the Android operating system. Then go down and find this exact version you see on the screen. It has to be this 32-bit version as the others will not work on your device. Now, while we wait for that to download and install, I should tell you that while Kodi is probably the best media player out there, no media will be available without some extra steps we need to take to download and install the add-on that is going to give us all that streaming goodness. Just follow along with me in the video, and I'll show you how to get the best build out there at the moment, all from within the Kodi app itself. Okay, so now that's all been installed, we can go ahead and click open. Kodi will ask for some permissions and may take a moment to open up. Just click OK and wait until you get to the app's home screen. Once you're on the home screen, go ahead and click on the gear icon to get to settings. Then scroll down and select the system settings option. Then we're going to scroll down to add-ons and make sure we enable unknown sources. Click the OK button, then head back to the settings menu. Make your way across to File Manager, then scroll down the list to Add Source. When this box appears, just click the middle button on your remote. You now need to type this address exactly as you see me type it on the screen. This is the location of the file we are going to need to install the build a little later on. Remember, just pause if you need a little more time. Now once that's installed, it will ask you to name the source. For ease, I'll just go ahead and name it Crew. Press OK, and you'll see that's now been added to the top of the list. Now hit back on your remote a couple of times until you are at the home screen. Next, we need to scroll down to the Add-ons section, then scroll across and select Install from Zip File. Go ahead and select Crew, then go ahead and select the Zip File. You'll know it's installed when you see the notification appear in the top right-hand corner. Okay, so now that's done, we want to scroll across to install from repository. Scroll down and click on the crew repo. 
Once that's open, scroll down again and click on Program Add-ons. At the top of the list, you should now see the Crew Wizard. Go ahead and select that, then select Install when you get to this screen. Now before we get to the next step of installing the build, I would just like to warn you that there's been a lot in the news lately about streaming movies and IPTV online, so we would always recommend using a VPN while using these builds. We personally recommend using IPVanish, and by following the link in the description or in our bio, you can get up to 83% discount, and it costs just a couple of dollars a month. Here's a quick video of the benefits. Did you know that your ISP can see all of your streaming activity? While your watch list may not be that interesting, your ISP can also keep track of all of your other online activity. Do you feel like your privacy is invaded now? With IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted, so your ISP can no longer understand your online activity. Protect your internet privacy today with IP Vanish. Just click the link in the description to register and ensure your privacy. Okay, so now we're going to get a few info boxes appear on the screen. You can just go ahead and dismiss those and click continue until we get to the one that has an option to go to the build menu. Once it appears, go ahead and click on the build menu option. After it's loaded, you should see a list of different builds. But the one we are after that doesn't require any extra paid services is the Green Monster 21 build. So go ahead and click on that one. Once this list appears, go ahead and scroll down to Fresh Install and click on it. Then it's just a case of following the on-screen prompts to let the build download and install. How long this takes depends largely on your internet connection speed. But once it's done, it will ask you to force close and restart Kodi. Once it does, go ahead and restart, and that's it. Your awesome new build should be installed on your Fire Stick. Now, we recommend having a little look around to get used to the build and also to give it a few moments to install all the necessary add-ons and dependencies required. If you found this video tutorial useful, why not hit subscribe and check out our other tutorials?